sights to show you. Okay. Show me. So, Cora, it is your birthday. Well, not technically. This is recorded before your birthday, but this is coming out on your birthday. So, you want to say happy birthday to yourself? Since I know you like to watch these videos, say something to future Cora. Maybe. Well, say it. That actually is a movie, and we probably will watch that one day, but that is not the movie we are watching today. But you are very, you are right on the money. Since it's your birthday, Daddy picked a very special movie just for you. Is it Scream? No, but... Are you kidding me? But this is sort of inspired by Scream. It's, yes. it's a little bit newer. It's kind of got the same premise with a... Uh, killer who's stalking a girl and the girl it's her birthday and because I know she hasn't seen this yet it's also made off the same premise as Groundhog's Day too wait what? do you know what Groundhog's Day is? no I don't even know what a day even means well the real holiday is about um, when the groundhog comes out and if he sees his shadow, that means there's more winter. And if he doesn't see his shadow... Oh, if he sees his shadow, spring will come early. And if he doesn't see his shadow, then that means like eight more weeks of winter or something. So like it'll be on winter, but you will see if it's going to be more days of winter or more days of summer? Yes. But, because, but that's not actually what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is it's based off the 1990s movie starring Bill Murray, Groundhog's Day. That Groundhog's Day. Um, which we'll probably eventually watch here on the channel. Maybe if Groundhog's Day comes and we know about it before, we'll probably watch the movie with it. I think you'll like that movie too. And after you see this movie, you'll understand that movie a bit more too. I watch a pine movie. No. The way we got this pine shirt on. It's a zombie shirt. Anyways, so. I guess since we're keeping this as a little bit of a surprise, since Cora does not know the name of the movie she's about to watch, but. She, what she does know now is that it's sort sort of based on Scream. So it is a mystery. There is a killer. And it's perfect for Halloween time. And since it's your birthday and your birthday is close to Halloween, it's perfect for October. <laughs> now there's a sequel to this movie, which I think we'll save for next year. So, are you ready to jump into the movie? 
Yeah, sure. All right, we'll see you guys after. Bye. Alright, so we just finished Happy Death Day. Wait, what? That's the name of the movie that we watched. So, I kept telling you it was like Scream, right? Yes! There's actually two kills. Well, technically there was one. That Tombs guy didn't actually become a killer until much later. When he actually did break out and started going after her. But originally, the first several times she dies, um, it's actually her friend, her roommate, who was doing it. And then the friend and roommate was going and releasing tombs, the guy in the hospital, and making it look like he was the killer. So she could get away with it scot-free. But, yes, there are two killers in this, kind of. <laughs> so, what was your favorite part of the movie? Actually, I would say the part where she, at the end, I mean, like, it tricked me also, not, not just the main character. I was like, how? She... She seriously killed two of the killers. Yeah. How how she so left Well, she only day? killed one in the final day. She only kills the one because she kills her in the morning. So the bad guy Tombs, he never gets freed and he goes to jail. So because she kills her f roommate in the morning, she stops all the events from happening. Just, just to, yeah. Were you confused at first with what was going on in the movie? Yeah, but also I did like another part. The part where the murderer gets killed. Realize like there was actually a twist. The cupcake was poisoned all along. Yeah. And yes, there was a cupcake in the movie. Were, were you shocked by that? Were you like, wait, she killed the bad guy. What's going on? Yeah. How did she die this time? So, anything else you want to say? Any other parts you really liked? Um, let's see. I was kind of confused when she killed herself. Well, because that guy, Carter, that she was falling in love with, because he died, if she had killed, she thought, if I kill the killer now, then Carter's dead forever. So she killed herself, so she could reset the day. And he can be alive. Exactly, so she could save him, because he tried to save her. So, but, yeah, uh, yeah and, and he also tried to help her by making a plan. I believe the plan was, um, figure out who is the killer by, I guess, spying on everyone. Who knows? It's your birthday. Yeah. Were you... Did you even suspect the roommate at all? No. It was a complete shock, right? Yeah, because, like, I saw... Hmm, the cupcake doesn't look poison. 
realize if she known, then she probably would have liked just like throw it in the trash and then like do something as her like girlfriend and fall out the window. Did you like how she became a better person? The more and more time kept resetting? Yeah. Like, yeah. at first, she was like, she's gone mean. Like, I don't like it. I don't like it. But, like, going so many times, like, okay, I like you. I like you. Here, give me a photograph. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah, she, like, becomes more nicer throughout the movie. Yeah. So, all right, we'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Yep. Looking for something to pass the time? Need something good to read or listen to? To get you ready for Halloween. Do you like famous slashers like Jason, Freddy, Michael, or Ghostface? Do you wish there was something new and original that you could read on your phone or tablet? Or perhaps you like to grab a scary book and read by candlelight? Check out these short stories, written by Sean Connaughton. When a mildly abusive man mistreats his bride-to-be on Halloween night, his neighbors decide to teach him a lesson. A lesson he won't soon forget, when he finds himself in the witch's hole. And narrated by me, Tara Klein. A Seattle detective, Scott Grimes, investigates a string of odd murders. But where this case ultimately leads him, he could never have predicted when he crosses paths with the legal murderer. And narrated by me, Brad Letson. Join the Dunn family as they make their way to a vacation home for a weekend trip. However, when the sun goes down, Things seem to get just as dark inside as outside. Stay with the Duns and see if you can make it through the mansion. Audiobook narrated by Dylan Poor. This story follows Sir Godwin as he and a small group transport a lovely princess out of a soon to be war zone, and as they travel, they must pass through some woods. However, Things grow darker and more sinister the deeper into the woods they go, and they find what some believe to only be known as the legend of Fort Blood. Narrated for you by Angela Strauman. So, turn out the lights, light a candle, grab your phone or tablet, and download your ebook or audiobook now. Currently available all year round on Audible, Amazon, and iTunes. So don't miss out and grab your copy today. All right, Cora. So we're moving on to our final scores. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate this movie? Actually... This movie did kind of scare me, so... 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10? But I will probably, like, give 1 plus to the score. Because the very, very, very saw this movie. Kind, kind of, kind of... Just, like, made me... This made me question, like, what is going on? Yeah. Yeah, like, for some reason, like, it keeps, like, sounding like, da 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 like that. The intro, the title, the trailer, or that, the company logo. Yeah, for some reason, it just keeps on <coughs> starting over. Yeah, because that was a joke on the fact that it's a movie about a day repeating over and over. A Bobby both day. Not, they could leave like, then it was a cake, 
Because it is only boss day after all. Yep. Alright, now moving on to my final score. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would honestly have to give this movie, I'd say, a 8 out of 10. Alright, guys. Um, like my dad says. Can I finish? Okay. I reason I'm giving this an 8 out of 10 is because I've always enjoyed these. I always find these very comical when you got a story where the day keeps re-looping. And they're trying to find a way out of the loop. So I really enjoyed that aspect. It was very interesting. I've never seen it done in a horror movie before. So it was definitely an interesting take on that genre. Because usually it's just done for comedy. Like they even mentioned Groundhog's Day in the act at the end of the movie. Even though it's a birthday day. No, they're talking about the movie Groundhog's Day with Bill Murray from Ghostbusters. Like I said, we'll watch it sometime and you'll see. It's kind of the same deal. Um, with a day that keeps repeating over and over. Um, so, this has been our review for Happy Death Day. And this will be up on Cora's birthday. So... Be sure to join us tonight when we live stream if you are subscribed to the channel you will be able to make sure that you are there so you can wish her a happy birthday. Happy birthday Cora. How old are you today? I'm seven but soon I will be what? It's on your birthday. This is coming up on your birthday so how old are you now on your birthday? Eight. Eight. Ah. She's eight years old today. Yeah, that's how it matches with your score. You give me the eight out of ten and I'll be eight. You are eight now? It's like a joke. As we're watching this on your birthday. Sorry. Paradox. Sorry. Did your mind just go poof. Anyways, so like I said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to click that notification bell because we will be back this afternoon with a live stream. Um, guys, this is a question that we have been shot for one day, but our dad has been forgetting it to say it. Why do you wait this? If he's seen it, or if he's seen the trailer at least. Yeah. Why would you rate this? Out of a 1 out of 10. Alright. You heard her. That's the question of the movie. Alright. We'll, we'll see you all next time. Bye.